Welcome to the A220 assembly and completion site here in Mirabel, Quebec. The A220 aircraft family includes two models, the A220-100 and the A220-300, both optimized for the 100 to 150 seat market, which has extended and perfectly complemented the Airbus commercial aircraft portfolio. It takes a few months to build an A220, from the moment the first fuselage piece enters the assembly line to the time the customer takes delivery of their aircraft. During this period, each of the Mirabel site's employees will have a unique role to play to make it fly. Since the program was launched, the A220 has received over 600 orders from around 25 customers worldwide. In total, over 100 A220s have been delivered to airlines in all corners of the globe. This final assembly line was inaugurated in 2014 for the production of the A220, which was at the time called the C-Series. In July 2018, the program became part of the Airbus family and was renamed the A220. The Mirabel site is the primary A220 file, producing both models and serving customers worldwide. In addition, we built a second final assembly line in Mobile, Alabama, which started A220 production in August 2019 exclusively for US-based customers. In the two years since Airbus has led the program, we have implemented numerous enhancements to our facilities and industrial processes to improve our efficiency as we ramp up production, applying best-in-class industrial practices by deploying the Airbus operating system. In this video, you will discover how the A220 is made step by step, and now we look after our customers after each aircraft takes to the skies for its first flight. I wish you a great virtual tour. Enjoy the visit! Let's have an overview of the A220 industrial process, which is our manufacturing plan. Now, it's divided into four different steps. The first step is the assembly line. In the assembly line, its main mission is to receive all major components, such as fuselage, wings, empennage. We physically join them together, install all of our systems, and give life to the aircraft, which is power on. The Airbus A220 Mirabel assembly facility is composed of two identical lines. The combined capacity is designed to produce up to 10 aircrafts per month. The two lines are divided in three positions. Here on my right, you have the first workstation that we named LCS-001. This is where most of the major components arrive and are joined. These main structures, being the cockpit and mid and rear fuselage, are produced by suppliers all around the world. The joining process uses state-of-the-art technology to ensure adherence to the highest quality standard. The second station, called LCS-002, is very critical to the build process. Again, it involves many suppliers and core competencies. We have three teams working in parallel. The vertical and horizontal tail stabilizer installation, the wing joining, and system installation in the fuselage. All these teams are synchronized in order to maximize the critical path and reduce the cycle time. The main landing gears are installed, and from this point on, the aircraft will roll to the next station. On my left, the third station, LCS-003, is the last station of the assembly line. This workstation is pretty much where we give life to the aircraft. Power and hydraulics are turned on, functional testing of the flight controls are performed, the doors are adjusted, and the cabin is pressurized. After this position, the A220 will be towed to another hangar to perform phase two of our industrial process. Welcome to phase two of the industrial process. This position is called LCS 10 to 40. Basically, we have three main objectives in this section. The first objective is to complete the cabin installation, which include bins, sidewall, and all major cabinet. They will be fully tested and presented to our customer. The second objective is to install the engine and perform final adjustment of flight controls, which means they are all tested to meet the aerodynamic requirements. We'll then move into the third phase of the uh, manufacturing plan, which is the paint shop. 
in the paint shop, we will then customize the paint system to the specific customer. And finally, we move into the fourth stage of our industrial plan, which is the pre-flight and delivery. As you can see, after the aircraft is painted, we enter the final phase of our industrial process, flight testing and delivery. In this final stage, we perform the very last critical preparation in order to fly the aircraft for the first time. Our pilot performs various in-flight tests to validate that all the previous work in the build process provide the highest level of performance. At the end of the flight testing phase, we present the aircraft to Transport Canada Authority, who will conduct a ground inspection to provide us the certification of airworthiness. Finally, we're ready to begin the delivery process, where the aircraft will be handed over to the customer delivery team. They will accept their new aircraft by proceeding with a ground inspection, followed by a customer acceptance flight. At this point, the aircraft is ready for its fair flight to the customer home base. Welcome to the A220 Customer Response Center. The A220 Customer Response Center is open 24-7 and is our first line of contact with the airlines. While developing the center, we spent a great deal of time looking at the best ways to support our customers, including benchmarking and focus groups. The result is the center behind me. The team is composed of licensed mechanics, avionics, duty managers, configuration management specialists, technical publication experts, and our AOG supply engineers who all together support the fleet. This is how it works for any new type of request coming in. A question will arrive into the team's inbox. The CRC specialist checks if they have a solution available, searching through our existing knowledge base and historical data, or if the solution requires additional information from colleagues. If they can identify the solution that their customer is looking for, they will address the issue via an official response through our CRM system. If it's not possible for them to respond, they will then assign the case to the most suitable team who will manage the case from there until final solution is identified. The interactive audiovisual system you see behind me gives us access to real-time information on what is happening with our A220 fleet. Globally, we look at worldview of out-of-service aircraft and imminence out-of-service, the CRC inbox where new cases and emails are coming in, worldview of the A220 fleet flight activities by region, phone call volumes and on-time performance for case closure, and we keep a 24-7 news feed to stay aware of ongoing crisis. All of this content is 100% customizable, so it allows us to adapt to any situation. We'll be pleased to welcome you here in person in the future. We make it fly for you.